Good morning, angels. Welcome back or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. So, um, I haven't got childcare this week. My mum's uh, been taking sick. She's a bit poorly. So, we are recording today. So, if you might seem a little bit rushed, a little bit flustered, it's because Hunter is watching us from his crib. Um, he's got the TV on. He's got toys all around him. But he is keeping a watchful eye on mum doing tarot readings. So what we're going to do today is what were they like to tell you? Now, I've picked, I've, I've, I've treated myself to this beautiful, beautiful new deck over here by Tarot by Peachy. She sells all these lovely decks um, and it's the Elemental Power Tarot. So that is going to be deck number one. And then secondly, we have got this deck uh, that you've used, seen before called Tarot of the Abyss. And these are the two decks we're going to use today. So let me show you them. Deck number one and deck number two and a baby talking to us. So pick the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you pick the deck that you like, I'd like you to just visualize, sense, or feel the person that you want to ask about. And as you feel and sense that, I want you to push it, push the energy into the deck that you are most drawn to. Number one, which is the Elemental Power Tarot, and number two, which is Tarot of the Abyss. And we're gonna get going. So deck number one. Now, the other treat that I've brought to start this reading is this lovely, uh, a treat to myself this week, this lovely uh, kind of a deck called the Stardust Tarot, but it's dice. So you know that I can use dice to do the readings anyway, but I wanted to show you these and I'm gonna start off by pulling three, cut, three of these for you. So these have got all the different tarot on them. So let's start off by doing that. So let's get three cards about what your person is thinking about you. So over here, we have the two of cups. Okay, I'll put these over here at the top. Let's just get three. What are they thinking about you? No, what would they like to say to you? Sorry, get the right reading. What would they like to say to you? We've got the four of cups. Two of cups, four of cups. And what else would they like to say to you? Let's get one more. And your last one is the six of swords. OK, so right off the bat, going into the energy of you guys, they would like to tell you that they love you. They would like to tell you that they have very strong feelings for you. But there is this sense of taking a step back from the situation with the Six of Swords. It could be, and we're going to go have a look at the tarot, but it could be that they've been feeling a little... You're talking! Could be that they're feeling a little bit fed up with the situation, that it, it's not quite going the way that they hoped, the way that they anticipated. So there is this sense of them taking a step back. But the underlying feelings of this is very, very strong love and strong romance. So when we're asking what would they like to tell you, they'd say to you, my actions at the moment, even though I have took a step back from the situation, I am very much in love with you. So that is what they would like to tell you, first thing. So let's go into the tarot, the beautiful new tarot deck, and let's see what else they would like to say to you and why they took a step back. I'm quite curious to see what's going on there. So deck number one, can we just have three cards on what they would like to say to you? What would their person like to say to them? What would they like to say to them? Also, I've completed the marathon, you guys. Um, I know you were keeping a, a tabs on that. Um, I've done it. That I'm still taking donations because I am still going to be running. I'm still running throughout the month of April. So if you are interested in donating to the Children's Cancer Society type in Great Ormond Street, um, you can just uh, drop me a message and I'll, I'll send you the link. I think we're on £650, which is quite a lot. 650 Greek British pounds. Okay, let's have a look then. So, what would your person like to say to you? So, we know that there are emotions. We know that there are strong feelings. We know that they can see a future with you popping up over here. There is this strong sense of having a future with you with the Empress. This talks about life goals. It talks about giving birth to dreams. It also talks about pregnancy, children. So, if you're looking for this relationship to go the next stages, this is an indicator that it can do. And with the Two of Cups over here, again, there is no doubt in our mind, being me and spirit, there is there's no doubt in our mind that your person's love for you is the real deal. It's very, very strong romantic energy between you guys. Now, the reason why they're feeling fed up, they're a little bit fed up with their own actions on this. So it looks like, looking at the cards, we've got nine of wands over here and we also have the knight of swords. So your person has most likely been a little bit hurt, a little bit damaged, a little bit pained, had pain, physical, emotional pain in the past. 
And that was what makes them scared of allowing the relationship to take take the next steps together okay so even though they have the love the love emotions they have fear and it's really important that we recognize that fear and love are total opposites people always think love and hate are opposites it's actually love and fear so there's this love and fear vibration going on with them so they are feeling fed up because of how they are handling the situation they're a bit annoyed at themselves and it's almost as if they've made quite a sporadic decision in taking a step back from the connection between the two of you. It hasn't been thought about. It's just been like, you've got too close, so I'm taking a step back, okay? Um, now, to counteract that, when we're asking what they would like to tell you, this is saying that they're fed up with their own actions and how they've handled the situation, but they've got a bit freaked out, okay? And then the last card's kind of coming up over here, which, you know, kind of makes sense with what we've just said, is the Six of Swords and strength i am sorry guys literally my mom is so poorly she's got like a tommy bug and you know like tommy bugs are just the worst um but we've done really well to make it this far into into readings of babies like we've made it this far um so i'm super proud that you know he's with this is the first time we've had to kind of work from home while he's in the crib but he's such a good boy he's such a good boy so my life is actually really easy with them. Um, okay, come back to the reading. So Six of Swords and Strength coming up over here. Now, the other reason why they've took a step back from the situation is to gather their strength. Okay, Six of Swords and Strength. They are just having a little bit of time out. Spirit is saying it's dormant. It's not over. Um, they're just taking a little bit of a step back to gather their strength so that they can be a little bit more emotionally vulnerable with you. And once they've done that, you've got this building a future together. So let's just clarify quickly what we've just said for you in short. So they would say to you, what they would like to say to you is, I love you. I see a future with you. I've took a step back from the situation because I felt a little bit overwhelmed. But don't worry, I will be soon back with you. And um, I just need a bit of time to figure out where my head is at. And once I've figured out where my head is at and I've gathered my strength, I will make those moves back towards you, especially with the Knight of Swords over here. It's quick movement. It's fast. OK, so if you're feeling like nothing's happening, suddenly out of the blue, you're going to get a text or communication and things like that. And that's step number one. So if you need me, I'd like you to just drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. You can also Instagram me or Facebook me. It's just mysticlovetarot. On Insta, you have to send a follow request, I think, to message because there were so many scammers out there and they definitely, um, there was definitely an imposter on Instagram that was pretending to be me. So I've put it on um, private. I put it on private so I can just, you know, check who's coming in and out the Instagram feed. Um, also, we would never, just to he give you a heads up on all the psychics out there, we would never drop you a message first uh, unless we're worrying about you. And we're like, are you OK? Or um, if we did drop you a message first, it definitely wouldn't say, dear beloveds. It just wouldn't say that. It wouldn't say that. So that's step number one. Drop me a message if you need me. I love you all lots and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for bearing with me with a little hunting name. Okay, deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, I haven't got any childcare today. So Hunter is in the crib. So you might get a little bit of talking, a little bit of singing um, and a little bit of yelling at me because he can see me. <laughs> through the door um, but he's got the tv on and he's got a bunch of toys in his crib and he's just having a little bit of a party um, and moving and running around his crib but um, it also means that sometimes he is going to yell a little bit now i just said in deck number one i've got some new toys this week and this is one of my new toys and it is the stardust tarot dice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just start off by pulling three dice for you on what your person would like to tell you okay so here we go getting the collective energy of you all and the first dice you have got is the queen of pence for those of you that read tarot queen of pence queen of pentacles if you want to read the dice uh the next dice for you guys what they would like to tell you is the seven of pentacles okay and the last dice that's going to come up for you guys what they would like to tell you is do 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 it is the Hierophant. No, it's not. It's the Hanged Man. Sorry. My apologies. It's the Hanged Man. So the Major Arcana have all got individual symbols on it. And obviously they're new. Um, and the Hierophant and the Hanged Man are kind of similar. So this is definitely the Hanged Man. Because I remember thinking it looked like a Hanged Man. So what is happening with your situation? Just looking at the dice. We have the need for stability. 
Okay, the pentacles indicating family, indicating stability. And we also have the hanged man, which is kind of a little bit of solitude, a bit of solace, a little bit of going inside themselves. Not really moving around, not much really happening, but with an indication that this could go the distance, but they've got to work through it. So they might be feeling a little bit insecure with the situation at the moment, but seeing you in a very secure place, okay? So they might be feeling that you are ahead of the game with them, that you want perhaps something different than they want at this point in time, and they want to take their time to build and grow, which is why the Seven of Pence is coming here. Um, it's often in tides of solace and sol solitude that they people have the biggest awakenings. And I feel that that is a really important thing for you guys to realise. You know, I don't know how many of you know Tarot and how many of you know The Hanged Man um, and how many of you on my face, uh, Facebook and Instagram because a few months back, I was probably more than that, but I went out into the woods with Hunter and I was sitting there and I saw a tree and it was the exact replica of The Hanged Man. And you can see, if you zoom in, you can see all the, the uh, tree spirits in the tree. It's, it's really, really neat picture, uh, really magical. But that, to me, really highlighted what the hanged man meant. You know, I was out there, I was in nature, I was having that time alone, and it was kind of giving me, I was hearing the whispers of the trees, I was hearing what the trees were telling me, and that solace and solitude that came from that gives you the biggest inspiration. So even if this connection is quiet with you at the moment they are finding that that information they are having uh, spirits saying downloads they're having uh, energetic downloads from them from the higher realms into their consciousness okay guys i had to do a little bit of baby sorting them so we it was just mom 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 so what's happening with them and why they took a step back there has been this little bit of self-defense. So it could be that they felt that they were allowing you into their heart and they've pushed back at you. There's also a sense of jealousy kind of coming up. Now that's really, really interesting because when we're talking about the stability and the security with the pentacles, the sense that jealousy is coming up over here is really important because it shows that this insight that they have into the connection is one that... Um, you know, that perhaps you are further along with them and they would like to see where it goes with you, but they feel that you are more secure than perhaps they are. Now, the other cards that follow this, you've got the star, which talks about movement, hope and spirit is saying fortitude, which again means strength. They're talking about things moving forward with you guys and the two of pentacles about taking the time and balancing the situation out. So when we put it all together, there is a lot of hope and dreams and aspirations that this connection can move forward. But there is this sense of I am pushing back on it at the moment um, and I am a little bit self-defensive. And when we're asking why they are self-defensive, it's because of stability and security. So this shows that they just aren't quite ready at the moment in time to take the next steps of this connection. OK, they just want to be a little bit more cautious. They want to just take their time with it all. Um, and that, that will build the stability between the two of you. Most of your cards are pentacles, which talks about security. They want this connection to be secure and safe for them to move forward. They can see a potential with you. Um, but at the moment, they're just stagnating it a little bit and waiting to see how it all unfurls. So overall, what they would like to say to you, I just want to take my time with it. I can see that we can have a really good future. Um, I'm sorry if I'm being a bit of a twerp and I'm pushing back at you at the moment, but I just want to make sure that this is the right choice for us before we settle into a relationship. I have hope that it's going to head in the right direction, but I just want to take my time and balance it all out. Because when we take time and we build on the relationship, then that is the most stable relationships that go the distance. And that is what they'd like to say to you. Pretty neat, huh? So uh, I'll go and get Hunter for you just so you can see him. Um, but I love you all to pieces. If you need me, drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. As I say, I'm sorry uh, for the little bit of yelling at you, um, but I haven't got childcare this week. So we are adapting. We are doing a carriage win and we are using our intuition and transformation to read for you this week. So I love you all lots. Uh, spaces are available for readings. I've got a um, 24 hour turnaround on voice note readings um, and some of them are still same day as well. So if you are really desperate and you're in like uh, I can do it on the same day, I will do that on the same day for you. And um, I also have spaces for video readings, but they have a little bit of a longer turnaround because there's a big wait list. Um, but I'm still quite fast at doing them uh so just drop me a message love you ciao 
So here is the little monkey that has been chatting away. Can you believe that that is our little newborn? Um, he's nearly, he'll be nearly 18 months. I think it's next month he's 18 months. You're going to say hi to everyone on YouTube. Um, so yeah, so he's growing massively. Oh, 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 oh. I know, he's like a proper little toddler now. Um, running around, being chaotic, aren't you? Um, so yeah, there's Hunter. There he is, all big boys now. Do you want a card? Do you want to show him a card? Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I love you lots. And if you need me, just message me, mrlovetower at gmail.com. I have got spaces for readings. Love you guys. Ciao. Say bye. Bye-bye.